Hey, I'm so excited to be with you guys uh, back with my surfboard and uh, today we are talking to you about are you doing $500 per hour activities in your business or are you doing $5 per hour activities? We are talking today about where are you spending your time as a business owner, a network marketer, a coach, whatever it is that you do. Are you spending your time on $500 an hour activities or are you spending your time on $5 per hour activities? And what does it take to spend time on $500 an hour activities and who can do the $5 an hour activities for you? So we're going to roll here real quick, I'm going to make it very short. Friday. Um, at uh, 9 o'clock Hawaiian Standard Time, which is 3 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm going to do um, an Aloha Friday teaching where you can ask me any question. So here's the key. As a business owner and as a network marketer, um, a life coach, an online marketing coach, my activities that if I spend it on the right things is worth to me about $500 an hour. Um, and when I'm not doing that, um, and I'm doing busy work like, um, you know, fine tuning an email or um, editing a video or um, uh, finding stuff to search to, to post on Facebook um, or uh, working on my website, updating a plugin, for example. Whatever it is that you can relate to in this situation is are, can you have somebody else do that? Because what can you do with your free time? Um, if you have time, you can go spend it on the most important activities, such as making a video, such as creating a new product, such as prospecting, such as picking up the phone and talking with people, such as teaching people, such as coaching people. All the other stuff can be done by somebody that is at that level or is in that marketplace to be able to do those jobs. And you would typically think, well, now, seriously, dude, who's going to pay $5 an hour? Look, um, you would think most of those is going to be $10, $15, $20 an hour jobs. Absolutely, if you do the business with people in Europe and in the Western world. But we are sitting with people where the cost of living is a lot less. They're very well educated. They speak very good English in other countries, such as our virtual assistant service that we offer from the Philippines. And I'm looking at three, three screens here, so from the Philippines. And we're charging $5 an hour from somebody that's college graduate um, and also somebody that is, um, speaks very good English. Um, the cost of living is less. And, and those people, and because of the exchange rate, it's worth quite a bit of money. So when you're paying somebody like that, you are making a change in the life of someone else as we are doing my assistant after three years instead of living in a small little 800 square foot condo is now buying our own house, right? And um, we are change, growing our business, we're making more money, we're giving to orphanages. And we can do that because we are a team. We work together, we're business partners. I pay them, I also give them profit sharing, but that's not what the key is. The key is here is that where are you spending your time most effectively? And that's what you've got to ask yourself. Are you, are you really using your time? And you would say to me, well, um, I actually have the time. Well, let me ask you this. Could you be spending that time with your family, relaxing, sleeping, resting, be creative? Awesome. So guys, that is what you can, that's what you need to look at. And is, is where do you spend your time? And I know you can't always spend your time with highest producing activities, but there's important things such as spending time with your family, such as relaxing, and taking a break from the busy things in life. Um, then there are the, the, all the other busy work, we would call it, that you have to do. And you know, for those of you on my mailing list, you're going to get an email. Uh, tomorrow you're going to see an edited version of this video. 
um, you're going to see it up on my blog post. It's going to be shared all over social media. That's what my assistants do for me, for example. And that's what an assistant can do for you. Why would I spend two, three hours a day doing that when I can spend some, pay somebody five bucks an hour to do that and I can focus on activities like that, vacation counseling where I get paid thousands of dollars an hour, and my coaching. You know, that is what I'm sh sharing with you guys. So use your time wisely. Use your time effectively and make an impact also in the lives of other people by taking a little bit of that money that you make and give it to somebody else so you have more time for the important things in life. If you go to my website, johanvenardi.com or rugbydo.com, click on the, on the free tab and you will, my, my giveaway today, my gift to you is my report, seven questions you should ask of a staffing company when you're considering hiring a virtual assistant and you can get it there for free. Robert, hey guys, I gotta go, I'm signing off. Grab your free report below um, and also um, while you are on my website you might just as well grab my report of seven questions you should ask when starting a new business, especially network marketing business, you'll get a lot of value and you'll be notified of all my free trainings. So take care, God bless you and aloha.